I think you might get more out of Xander for the next 10 years, too. Well, my question is what happens when Hassan Kim is a, either traded or a free agent at the end of this year? Jackson Merrill. Somewhat breaking news. I know it's not earth shattering, but longtime shortstop Xander Bogarts is shortstop no more. He is moving to second base for the San Diego Padres. And Hassan Kim, who is a whiz with the glove, is going to play shortstop again for the pods. Winning move for the Padres? Yes or no? Is this a successful move? There's AJ Castabell, Schilt manager, says it's not etched in stone, but for now, Bogarts is at second. Schill had high praise for Bogarts for being so receptive to the idea. It was presented to him in mid-December on Schilt's trip to Aruba. Quote, my admiration for Xander Bogarts went through the roof, Schilt said. And Bill Shaken said in 2021, the Padres signed Tatis to a 14-year contract. He played one more year at shortstop. In 2022, the Padres signed Bogarts to an 11-year contract. He played one more year at shortstop. I mean, true, but I will say right now, Kratz, they have one of the best defenders in baseball in Hassan Kim. And don't you want to put him at the premium infield position aside from what you guys played? Hats off to the, to the Padres for doing this. Some teams would look at it saying, shoot, we should have never paid Bogarts what we did for an 11-year contract. We could have find, found a second baseman. This is They're doing what's best for the team. I don't know that they thought Fernando Tatis was going to be the shortstop of the future. I thought, I think they thought he was going to hit 300 with 30 and 100 every year. Moving into right field, that's a gold glove. That's a gold glove spot. You're not going to spend on pitching. You need a defense to, to be behind them. So I love it. I love it for their defense. And this offense is still going to hit. Like if your defense can help your pitching, which isn't awful pitching, you Darvish. Musgrove, like, they have legitimate pitchers. Michael it's King? Just, yeah, Michael King. Sorry, <laughs> I forgot about Kinger. And you have that defense. I think you might get more out of Xander for the next 10 years, too. Well, my question is, what happens when Hassan Kim is a, either traded or a free agent at the end of this year? Jackson Merrill. Do you, do you move – you go back to Bogarts and say, well, we, no. we, 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 or do you, you're going to have to go find another shortstop. Jackson stop. Merrill is a stud prospect who right now – Is he playing around. outfield, though? Yeah, but that's not his natural position. Okay, well, He's here's the thing stop. you do, though, you don't do with players. You don't move them farther away from the ball if you think they're going to be there closer to the ball later in their future. But he doesn't have a spot. It doesn't matter. You don't do that because it's so, it's so much easier to move farther away from the ball, right? So if you're a catcher, it's easier to move to the infield than to the outfield, right? If you're an infielder, it's so much easier to move to the outfield. What you don't want to have happen, and a lot of teams don't want to do, and if you do this, most teams won't do this, take a kid that was an infielder, did it their whole career, and move them to the outfield, and then be like a year later say, oh, shit, we were just kidding. We need you at shortstop now. No. What you should do if you're that team is you take that kid and you say, you're going to have to go play. It's going to suck in AAA for a year. Get Hone your skills until we trade Ha Sung Kim, and then you bring him up to play shortstop. Or he makes it the whole year, and then you say, next year you're our shortstop. But you don't want to have a kid move from the infield to the outfield and then be like, oh, you have to come back. Because they lose that skill set. Yes. You, again, the far, and I think Kratz will agree with me. The farther you get away from home plate, the easier the position is. Is there a chance that A.J. Preller doesn't understand what you just said? I mean, I would hope so. I think Mike Schilt, he was a development guy. He should understand. So maybe that's what's going on right now, Kratz. I mean, they wanted him to try out some outfield. I mean, we also are just getting to camp here. But maybe Jackson Merrill doesn't play outfield for this team. He's also super young, but he projects to be a very good ball player. I mean, I know he's a prospect right now, but this is a first-round pick from a few years ago. Maybe some people can make a case that he's too big for the position, but that's not really a thing as much anymore. He's like 6'3", 200. Actually, our friend Kylie McDaniel, who was on the show recently, the comp that he gave, not size, but hitting profile, was Ozzy Albies in terms of what he can bring or as Jackson an offensive Merrill. player. Yes. He's pretty good Elite player. back control, can get the pitches out of the zone, 2020 threat on a consistent basis, and the glove works almost anywhere. That was the scouting report. So for the future, they're good if Kim leaves. But what about this year? This year, does this make the Padres better? Because they need to improve at the margins since yes. they didn't get significantly better. In fact, you could make the case that they got worse. Or for me, I think it was kind of even in the offseason because they did get themselves 
the pitching depth that they needed. Yeah, like I, I think they'll probably be about in the same range as they were last year, which was about 500. Don't get don't get it twisted though. Kim is not a free agent. If I'm if I if I'm reading it correctly, this is the last year of his contract, but he signed a contract. He's still ARB eligible, just like Shohei when he went to ARB after no. his original I he's contract. A free agent. No, free agent. Hundred percent. Ninety nine point eight. That's what Scott's saying. Then I believe Scott. Because this is Scott only his fourth. This is only his fourth year, and you can't become a free agent based on how he signed his contract. But we we got to find that out. Either way, they are better. Your question was, are they better? They're better this year. They are better this year, and it might be Preller's last year. You never know. But they're better this year with this lineup, uh, this defensive alignment. Well, they've got nine more years of Bogarts to figure it out. This Where is going to play. I, my, I my thing is they got how many more years of Machado forever with Machado, right? Third, they signed Crone, well, Crone Zone. Cronenworth, the extension, which six more wasn't necessary at all at the time. They just did it like, hey, I like this guy. Oh, we're in the crown zone, my boy Donnie Orsillo, right? <laughs> like in the Jumbo Jacks, they get every time he hits a homer and Orsillo gets a free something. But uh, it's 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 a it's an interesting roster construction they have here. Like, Austin Kim was really good last year. Look at his numbers. And so now you're switching him over to short. Bogart struggled, I know that, but – I don't know. It, it, it's, it's are they better? Yeah, I mean, I think they are probably defensively for sure, yeah. range wise, that whole thing, absolutely. But you got nine more years of Xander Bogart. You're going to tell me for the next nine years he's going to play second base for you? Yes. Trevor Story. Trevor Story's switching back over, and the issue with Trevor Story was he didn't have the arm strength. So as soon as he went to second, they were like, ah, nope, he's never going to play. Switch back over after Tommy John. So I think eight. Hey, I think. Uh, Andres Jimenez said it perfectly. He's like, it would take a lot. I couldn't just hop back in to play shortstop. He said it would take an entire offseason. And Andres is how much younger than Xander Bogart. So they had to have thought about that. They had to have thought and planned, or maybe they're not planning ahead. But this team, like you said, is going to be around. This is this is the team that the Padres have. And maybe they feel like they can get a shortstop later or Xander can go back if if Kim leaves, but I, I really want to get to the end of it. I, I don't think he's a free agent. Well, it says I'm a hundred percent now. He is a free agent. I did the research while you were talking. Okay, tell me. It's it. not the same as the Otani deal. I don't have all of the details. I don't understand it all. I just have like ten places that are all saying he is a free agent after this year, which technically is all I care about. He is a free agent after Mark, this season. Mark, our fearless leader. Mutual, mutual option. option, which means, which means the Padres are going to say no, <laughs> or he's going to say no, no. He's going to say no. And they're gonna, the Padres gonna would beg yes. Yeah, I mean, mutual I don't know what the options number is. are fake. Okay, I don't know what the number is, but yeah, it doesn't matter what the number is. He's. I'd be he's, interested to see why he's a free agent because he doesn't have the, six well, years. Well, because he came over as an old, as an older player, so they probably made it so he could be a free agent at the end. Correct, Kratz. I can actually kind of answer your question. Okay. When he signed with the team, he was already past the age qualification so that he doesn't have to deal with those rules that Otani did, right? Otani, I think, signed when he was, what, 24 or 25? I think the cutoff's 25. And he signed, I believe, when he was 26. So he's no, good. He was twenty. He was 25 when he made his big league debut. And I thought I thought the, the cutoff. cutoff. I thought the age cutoff was 26. That's why Yamamoto's so, so intriguing. I thought oh. it was either six years in the other professional league or – Age 26. Anyway. Otani signed when he was 23, by the way. Yeah. Um, uh, no, it's 25. It must be. I mean, okay. he's a free he's agent. A free agent. He's going to be a free agent. In the We're he's arguing agent. over yeah, it's something semantic. that he's going to be a free agent pretty much. This yeah. is it. I mean, I mean, I think he has a $2 million buyout, so he's going to be a free agent at the end of the year. Yeah, he's going to cash the fuck out. Of he, course he is. He he's was gonna, a five-plus five win player. Yeah, he was an awesome player last year. But my question year. is, my, my, my thing is, again – um. What do they do with Bogarts? Like Second I love, base. I love Xander Bogarts. He was yes. one of my all-time favorite teammates I ever had. He was awesome, awesome kid, and still love to see him all the time. And he will do whatever it takes. Remember in the thirteen, he went and played third base for him uh, when they when they won the World Series in thirteen. He went and played third base. Even the next year, he moved to shortstop full time. Fourteen when I was there. But this, I mean, he just wants to win. And, and okay. I guarantee you, when he signed that deal with San Diego, he's like, we got Soto, we got Machado, we got Darvish, we got Snell, we got. 
Cronenworth, we got Kim, we got Tatis. You also got way more money offered by them than any other team. Well, good for him. I never right. never fault the guy for getting more money. But totally agree. Then they went out and sucked last year. And he's like, well, okay, if, if me moving to second base will help this team win, he moved his ass to second base. Okay, so stat cast range, out above average, was a three, plus three, 81st percentile. That's great. Arm strength was 24th percentile. Sounds like a great move to second base to me. Or maybe he just wasn't slinging it. Maybe he doesn't need to. I, I, I don't know. I think it's great. It makes sense. Totally. Hot Next year, they need a shortstop. <laughs> Jackson Merrill, dude. Okay. You, he's one of the top prospects in the sport. You've got to give him a chance. Hey, everybody. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content. We're back here every weekday, all year long, so do not miss an episode. The videos are coming in all day. Here's another video you might enjoy. Baseball, the way it should be covered.